I'm just glad that Jamal has finally started to be involved with somebody. You know, because he's... A bit of a slut for a while. A little whore is what I like to call him. <laughs> <laughs> a man whore. The following program. Modern style. What we see is, it's kind of painful, but it's also great television, you know, to watch someone that you kind of feel connected to, you feel like he's your friend, he makes mistakes, but you're still rooting for Jamal. But to see him in a vulnerable state and falling for someone that is absolutely playing. manipulating them and playing him is painful to watch, and he has no idea. The other day, um, Jamal was lying to protect Lucius, and Lucius caught that he was lying to him and was looking at him wondering why are you lying to me and that was such a sad moment to be protected to feel like you're not so it's so nice for them to be sweet to Lucius at the same time. Well Lucius is actually kind of sweet He's as well. Really nice. He's very nice. What a difference. Really nice. We've seen situations like this before where Lucius has made amends for the things that, or has started to make amends for the things that he's done but usually they've had it attached to something that he needed. And this time, we're seeing a genuine side of him and it's all about those shades of gray. What I love right now is watching how necessary every part of the family is, every member of the family is, and to see how they play this whole thing out with now that Cookie had finally fallen back for Lucius. You know, now how deep does her love go? And who's gonna ha carry her weight now? Because he was her hitman before. No, Cookie is always carrying her own weight. Mm -hmm. You could go dribble on your bib in the bed and be <laughs> dumb and don't remember nothing all you want to. I have taken over the company because I had to, and that's what a good woman does. End of story. <laughs> Moving on to the next interview. <laughs>